So I've almost caught up on the Aces of the Week galleries for the last week of December. Just this one and one more to go. This one is all about the high tiers, tiers 9 and 10. And yeah, okay, it's a little bit late being the first week of January, but, you know, commitments intervene and these things get delayed. So without further ado, let's have a look at the high tier Aces gallery. Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz and as I said this one is focusing on the high tiers, tiers 9 and 10. So we don't need to have much of an intro for it so let's get right into it and first off the bat is a good friend of mine Adam Strib 80 of the Clan Lager rolling out in the E75 the German tier 9 Evi on the EU server. Now I love this tank because I, I love the line that it's in, it's in the Tiger 2 line and I, I just love that line that tech tree line. Now this particular tank has 1800 hit points, it has a view range of 282 meters. Its DPM on the standard AP however is a miserly 2260. You're sticking the APCR and drops down even lower to 1916. But with the HE it climbs a little bit to just shy of 3000 at 2947. Assuming of course you've put the top gun in which is the tier 10 12.8 centimeter 44 L55. <laughs> then you'll get these penetrations, oh, sorry this DPM. Now the penetration on the standard AP is 246, on the APCR it goes up to 311 and with the HE it's a measly 65 but we all know HE doesn't pen anyway. Damage wise, on the standard AP you got 460, on the APCR 390, and on the HE 600. Now the reload time is just over 12 seconds at 12.21, with a rate of fire of just under 5 rounds a minute. The aim time is just over 2.5 seconds, and its gun depression is a quite a good 8 degrees. Mobility wise, it's pretty heavy, but you can get a top speed out of it of about 40 kilometers an hour. So here we have Adam Stribe 80 rolling out, and he's already done a shed load of damage, and he's giving them a hard time. Okay, he's lost a lot of his hit points, but this beast at this tier can take it, funnily enough. Although, to be fair, the VK is a pretty formidable target. Yeah, if you see there, he bounced two massive shots, one from the U100 and one from the VK. You get the E75 in the right position and you will bounce a lot of stuff. It is as tough as old boots. However, that doesn't mean to say that Adam Strip 80 can now walk around the battlefield as if he, uh, you know, he owns the place because he can't. He's got to be careful. There are some formidable targets out there, although he's just taken out one of the most formidable, and that's the Grilly. What a fantastic shot that really was. I mean, talk about a snapshot. Now he's got the Bat Chat. The Bat Chat can really hurt him. He uh, completely overshoots the first go, gets a nice roll into him there, but uh, Adam Strib gets an F 440 in. The Bat Chat is on his long reload, and now he's absolutely regretting what he just did. He's Put him down to 16 hit points and it's all over. He's now got three kills. There's just the E100 to left. And everybody must be wondering how on earth he's managed to scrape through this with a mere 16 hit points remaining. And look at this. Straight into the back of the E100. Four kills. Just over 3,500 damage. Bounces just under 1,000 there. A well deserved mastery and Boy, what a fantastic game that was. I'd like to thank Adam Strib of the Lager Clan for providing that replay. And staying with Adam Strib 80 in Lager, here he rolls out again on the SU-12254, the Russian Tier 9 TD, again on the EU server. Now, I must admit, I love this tank. I mean, it's a great little TD. It's got 1600 HP, so it's not got the best hit points. It's got a view range of 277, which isn't the best either. But boy, has it got some great DPM. Now you stick the top gun in it, which is the 122 mm M62 C2. You've got a DPM on your standard AP of 4275. 
Okay, you've only got 258 penetration, and you're only knocking out 420 damage, but you've got a rate of fire of just over 10 shots a minute and a reload time under 6 seconds. You then put the Pramo in, which is the heat round, you've got DPM of 3665, penetration of 340, damage of 360. Then you've got the actual HE. The HE on this thing will bring your DPM up to 5,090 with a penetration of 68 and damage of 500. I mean, this thing is a beast. It's got an aim time less than two seconds. Okay, it's got probably one of the worst gun depressions in the entire garage of, of absolutely dreadful 4%. But it's got pretty decent speed at just below 50 kilometers an hour which is really good for a TD and you know it's got this trolley Russian armor which in the right position and you know angled the right way will bounce things it's got a pretty fantastic gun okay it's got a Russian gunner but you can see here the reticle gets really low so this one's not that stoked on the vodka and, and I just think this is a fantastic tank. And, and don't forget, it leads to the Object 263, which again is a fantastic tank with a fantastic gun. But anyway, we're not talking about that tank. We're talking about this tank. And we're not talking about any old driver. We're talking about Adam Strip 80. So he's decided that he's had enough of sitting up there because they're not going to present. So he's going to go in and attack. And oh, look at this. The Jaguaru has got himself stuck. I mean, that is just outrageous. I mean, poor Jaguaru. He, no one's come to bounce him out. Oh, he's finally wiggled himself out of the way. But he's taken a lot of hit points away from it. And there's a Mao Shen. And, uh, you know, Mao Shen, pretty formidable. Trolley armor, almost as good as a mouse. But the, the, this SU-12254 should be able to take it. Here comes the Jaguaru, stick one in his zen. Oh, track him, nicely done. And here's the Object 704, which is like a sibling to this tank. It's, it's not quite a twin brother. It's more like, you know, uh, I don't know, stepbrother. Uh, he tracks the Jaguaru again, sticks himself in a good position, blocking the 704 effectively. And then the Jaguaru helps out by blocking the 704 also, which is much to the advantage. But uh, you see there, he bounces off the Jaguaru, which doesn't really help. The Jaguaru's still loading. He's trying to back away to try and get one into the front plate of this Jaguaru, into that lower glacius, and he finally does. Now the 704 <laughs> misses out. That's a great move. He pushes straight in. The 704 misses his shot completely. Now he's trying to sort of brawl with the 704. He needs to get a basically away from that big gun. The big gun is really going to hurt him. Oh, he gets a massive bounce. <laughs> 640. And the 704 is no more. What a fantastic end run that was. I mean, that is just awesome gameplay. It really is. That move there with between the Jaguaru and the 704 was just fantastic. Wow deserved mastery and a shed load of the medals. Just over 5,000 damage, which is a shed load for this tank. A load of credits. Only kills one tank, but hey, you don't need to kill lots of tanks when you've got that much damage to your name, I'm telling you. And I think you'll see when you look at the team list, he, he pretty much carried that team there. And don't forget, this is a tier 9, and he, there you go, he carried the team completely. So that's a great game, and I'd like to thank Adam Strive, 80 of Lager, for sharing that replay with us. Last up is a very good friend of mine, Harrier 77 of 49 Div, rolling out in the T57 Heavy, the American Tier 10 Heavy Tank, again on the EU server. Now, a few bits and bobs about this tank. Okay, it's got relatively bad HP at only 2,000. It's got an okay view range, doesn't really matter about that. DPM on the standard AP is 2,836. If you stick the heat in, it's 2,411, it comes down a bit. And if you stick the HE in, it's 3,651. Penetration-wise, you get 258 in the AP, and you do a damage of about 400. The heat, you get 340, and you do damage of 340. And with the heat, you get a 60 penetration, and damage of about 515. Now, rate of fire is about seven rounds. Um, Per minute because it's a three clip magazine so it's it's pretty good the magazine reloading time however is 20 seconds the burst damage on this thing is immense it's 1545 which is pretty good base aim time is under two seconds it's actually just over one and a half seconds at 1.51 and the gun depression uh, it's not the best eight degrees but it's okay 
Weight-wise, you'll get about 35 kilometers an hour out of this thing. And as you can see, you have it in the right hands. Okay, it takes a long time to reload the magazines, but boy, you can be effective. I mean, look at this. Harry has already done a shell of damage here, and he's already bounced 353, which isn't bad going for a tank that hasn't got exactly the best armor, to be perfectly frank. But it has got a fantastic gun, and once he's reloaded, boy, is he going to give this IS-7 a hard time, and bye-bye IS-7. Okay, he's got one now in the clip, just to get rid of that one because he wants to be fully loaded for the next encounter. And why not when you've got a 20 second reload? You can see the IS-8 up there, is he going to give the IS-8 a go or is he going to have a pop shot at some of these up here? Well, he can't really get any shots onto them and the IS-8 is really also not in range. So he's going to move around and like I said, you're not going to get a massive turn of speed but you've got some good mobility in this thing. It's actually a great tier 10 tank in the right hands. So T-44, yeah, he's never going to last that T-54. He's always going to go. Now the object 263, one shot, he's gone. There you go, three tanks, sh quick succession. T-62 whacks a massive roll into him. T-62 really needs to get out of there. The IS-8, by looks on it, has come round and tried to put some shots into the back of Harrier 77 here. Well, that's not too bad because the moment Harrier 77 has reloaded this magazine, that IS-8 is in for a world of pain. And you'll see that right now. 423, followed by 355 or 365, followed by another big 300 roll. That is over half his hit points gone in, in one magazine. Great bounce there from, for Harrier from the IS-8 really needed that bounce. He's still on a long reload. I mean, the IS-8 is doing his utmost to reload faster. Oh, he gets a shot in, but now the IS-8 is in a world of trouble. All Harry needs to do is make sure that his entire clip goes into the IS-8. Well, he doesn't even need the entire clip. He's still got one left. Oh, and look, and there's an E-50. Let's take him out as well. Five kills, less than half the time gone. That is just how to play a T-57 Heavy. 4,300 damage, a wow deserved mastery. What a fantastic game. Now, I'm just gonna leave you with the end of that match. Because, I mean, it's just a fantastic ending. I'm not gonna go all through the end. I mean, he took out four tanks in very quick succession there. Okay, a couple of them on low hit points, but that's not the point. I mean, the ability of this tank is unbelievable. And the awareness of Harrier 77 is, is spectacular, and that's how we should be looking to play this very effective Tier X tank. Anyway, I'm sure you agree with me that all the replays this week in the, uh, in the high tiers were wow worth, then wow deserve their masteries. And I'd like to do a big thanks to Adam Stribe, 80 of the Lager Clan, and my good friend Harrier77 of 49 Div for sharing their replays with us because they're just spectacular to watch. Again, guys, by all means, if you've got any replays, aces, or anything really interesting, then again, send them to the usual email address, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. And by all means, comment below, press like if you really want to, and if you really, really want to, which would be spectacular, to be honest with you, press subscribe. I mean, it costs you nothing to subscribe to my channel. And if the more subscribers I get, I may be able to start giving things away. We can only see. So until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that's what it's all about, fun and happiness. Hey, I've been Fuji, and you've been great. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And I'd love if you would press subscribe. Who knows, we can do some more. By all means, drop me comments, tell me what can be improved, and tell me what you'd like to see. I'd really love to know. Anyway, until the next time, guys, happy tanking.